We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1 one, one home. Can't ask for better conditions. 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. The throw to first is in time. One down. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's four for 14. The 3 1. Bases are empty. One man out. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And right into the shift. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Up next for the Rangers, Matt Duffy. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Here's the 1 1. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. At the plate now, Willie Calhoun hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. So now two men in scoring position. So two men are on with one man out. And up to bat next, the left handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Andres, the runner at third. Duffy is over at second with one down in the inning. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready now. Danny Santana as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Two balls and a strike now. Two and one, here it is. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Batting pitch. 
Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. One and one. Here it is. Grounded softly to the right. Reined in on to first. And the Rangers squander a good opportunity here as the side is retired. Second inning set to go. And standing in is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. The 1-1. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Into the box, Yuli Gurriel. Soft liner to the left side. In there, a base hit. Stepping in now, George Springer, and it's fouled away. Another 2 2 offering, and it's up to a 3 2 full count now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. The next 3-2. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right here. Making the pitcher work. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Andrews. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Striding in for Houston, Carlos Correa. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. The 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. He's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Carlos Correa goes down for out number two in the top half. This is on the ground over to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So next to the plate for Texas, Ronald Guzman. He set to lead off the home half of the second. 1-1. One, one. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. And it misses three and one now. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Reddick. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. The two and one on its way. Lifted in the air out to center field. Springer giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Late that time for a strike. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's 2 and 2. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1 1 home. That's a ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gallo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Now a flare out toward right center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Jose. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Now the catcher wanted it down, and they got him to chase it for strike two. Count remains two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. The two two one more time is taken. Ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two down runners at first and second. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And two and two. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. Three and two, full count. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The first base is number 10. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel behind a ball and two strikes. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fast. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Here's the two and two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Altuve at second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now at the plate, Matt Duffy. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. Three and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over yeah, something. Matt. So it was a That's strikeout swinging. Hit. Matt Duffy really? becomes out number two oh, this oh. inning. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Three balls and a strike to Willie Calhoun. And the count will be full. 3-2 pitch. 
right side and right into the shift. On to the first baseman Guriel, and that will end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, George Springer. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. To two balls and two strikes now. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Nobody out, runner on furlough. Liner in there for a base hit. Now batter, right fielder, Josh Reddick. To the plate now, Josh Reddick. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind it. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Next to the athlete, the catcher. At the Garrett. plate now, Garrett Stubbs lifted in the air out to center field. Santana is there. Let's see if they try it. And they will not try anything here, so the bases remain loaded with one away. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Michael Brantley he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one one and one here it is hit hard towards center and that's in there base hit one run scores and the second run will score as that makes it a two nothing ball game now back third baseman Alex Bregman in now Alex Bregman. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Three and one to him now. A line shot to third base. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two runs, seven hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Guzman has got it and the side is retired. of the inning now and that'll bring up the outfielder Joey Gallo things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning now in the box Danny Santana reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Settling in now, Shinsu Chu. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Now a ball hit the center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone. <laughs> Stepping in now, Ronald Guzman. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Popped him up. Bregman has room in foul territory. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. 3 and 1. Two out, nobody on. In there, and it's full 3 and 2. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And that's low ball four. The second baseman. Two one pitch, a knuckle curve swung on and missed two and two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and next will be the imposing power bat, Jordan Alvarez. The 1-1 one -one home he is in there for the second strike. Swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And this ball's right past him at first base. The now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel, a hit in two tries so far. No one out with a runner at second. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Three and one now. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Full count now. Three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another full count pitch home. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. George Springer the next to hit. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 2-1 pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the center fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. Colby Allard will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 39. Colby Allard. Into the box, Carlos Correa. Fastball in there, three and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Soft liner towards short. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now batter. The catcher. Into the box now. Garrett Stubbs. Count still full. Three and two. Three runs already home here. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. 
Payoff pitch one more time. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Back to the top of the order now, and that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrews. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. So now to the plate, Matt Duffy. Down low, two balls and a strike. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And here's the former prize now Dodger back. prospect Willie Calhoun. Really? He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hit hard down the right field line, but a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. A 1 1. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Now a ground ball for Altuve could be two. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Into the box now, Danny Santana. A couple of walks for him thus far. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Two two pitches fouled away. Has a look. Now the pitch. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Gallo rounds the corner and is headed home. And a relay to the plate. Throw won't get him. Rogelio Armenteros will come on now to make his 30th oh, appearance of the two. year so far. Jim two, two. At the plate now, Shin Su Chu misses ball two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. One one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santana is right there, one down. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Runner at second here with one man out. The bouncer to the left side. There is Andrus. Throw gets him. Two down. So a runner at second. Two down now. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. One and one. Here it is. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the kick. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. In now, George Springer. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Ball two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. To the plate now, Carlos Correa. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. Josh Reddick would be next. The three and one pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Big spot here, first and second, two men gone, and that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. A 1-1. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now so striding there. forward now, Robert Robinson Fred. Chirinos. Gene it Pino. was a walk in his last trip. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's out number two. Digging in, Rugnit Odor. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Two and one to count. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Elvis Andrews would be next if they can keep this inning alive. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. The three-two pitch. Back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Into the box, Elvis Andrews down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit on the ground out to short. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Cody Allen is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 31. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to hit is the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. 
the 1 1 home. Line drive, base hit to right. Now back, left fielder, Michael Brantley. So now to the plate, Michael Brantley. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Runner. Runners off for second. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. He's got it one away. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. He's set now the pitch. Ball pulled high in the air out to left field. Gallo is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Jose Altuve is working on a one for three thus far. The one one home. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Jorgan Alvarez. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Gallo is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Matt Duffy. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman gloves it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. It was a walk in his last trip. Changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And it's gone. At the plate, Danny Santana popped up. Bregman over to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Two and two the count. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Here's George Springer. The 2-1. He's in there for strike number two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Again, he sends it out of play. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. There's a swing and a high pop up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Crowd gets up for the 3 2 down the left field line and deep and this will not be caught it's a foul ball 
He'll try it again, three and two. This is line to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. The throw into second. And he is in there. Jesse Chavez enters the ball game out of the pen, now looking for the final out here three. in the top of inning Josh. number eight. Ready. Into the box now, Josh Reddick. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Joe Smith is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Go. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Shin Su Chu. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Count even at two and two. Now the pitch. Now this is swung on and missed by Chu as he's dispatched for the first down. The batter. Coming the to the plate three. now, Ronald Guzman. Oh. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. to the plate now Robinson Chirinos now here's one hit in the air to the right side in there a base hit now back second baseman Ruben. into the box oh, Luke Dorn. a ball and two strikes now hard sinker oh, misses two and two Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Still two and two. From the stretch. The bouncer up the middle. Speared on the dive. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. set to start the ninth in this one and now it'll be the catcher Garrett Stubbs a swing and a shot hit down the corner nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball high in the air out to center field Santana is there and he has it for the first out so the batting order turns over now and set to go Michael Brantley. He flew out in his last at bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Squeezing it is Odor and there are two away now. Ready for another chance. Alex Bregman and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. The three one. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Now to the plate, Jose Altuve. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The one-two. Skied into very shallow right. Chu coming on. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Roberto Ozuna comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 54. Roberto. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Fouled off. 
The one two. Hit softly on the ground to third. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. And now batting Matt Duffy who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's set and the two one pitch swing and a liner and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. At the plate now, Willie Calhoun. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. One out, one on, and a one-run game. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Three and one pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. So stepping in, Joey Gallo. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. The 2 2 one more time. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now that In now, well, Danny Santana. He's the last chance with the tying and winning runs on base, and two men gone here in the ninth. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Struck him out. So he'll strand the possible tying run at second. And a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Strobes used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Rogelio Armenteros wins in relief for the eighth time this year. Corey Kluber was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Roberto Ozuna wraps it up for the save, his 28th on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB Fans The Show. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, seven runs on 15 hits. No errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Rangers, six runs, nine hits. One error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 35 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Globe Life Park, 48,114. The Rangers thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you and good night.